Hey everyone, Dr. Jones here with another weekly video message. And this week, I wanna talk about stories and the stories we tell. Now, I'm not necessarily gonna tell you a story, but I do wanna to talk to you about the importance of telling stories. We're all storytellers. We tell stories every single moment of our lives, except we don't realize that we do it. And the stories that I'm talking about are not just those outer stories, but those inner stories. You know, I got to thinking about a story I heard um, from my son and his friend. They were leaving wrestling practice and, and they're not that fast, but they were sitting in the back of the truck on the way home talking about, man, did you see how fast I ran? And the other one said, oh yeah, we were so fast. We were out in front of everybody. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, mm, no, not so much. Or that story internally that we tell ourselves sometimes like, the fact is when I see three cookies on a plate, eat the first one, it tastes so good that I'm halfway into the second one, I kind of tell myself I'm not gonna eat the third one. Well, I think we can all guess where that goes. But seriously, I'm talking about the more serious stories. I'm talking about that inner voice that's either positive or negative, that keeps us from doing things or helps us accomplish greater things. I mean, think about that little inner voice that you hear. Oh, I'm not good at that. Oh, I don't know how to do that. There's no way I'll ever be able to do that. Oh, I wish I could be like that person. Instead of, hey, I've got these special traits that I can apply. If I work hard, I can get what I want to do. If I put effort forward and set goals and know that I'm smart, I might just be able to get there. Those little stories add up. So I want to leave with you an activity. This is an activity I heard through a, a mastermind group that I'm part of for professional development. I want you to take a handful of dimes and put them in one of your pockets, left or right, it doesn't matter, depending on what hand you use. And then every time you have a good thought about yourself, a reaffirming thought about how you're good at something or how you can do something, I want you to take that one of those dimes out of that pocket and put it in the other pocket. And I want you to do that until you get all 10 dimes to the other pocket. Then bump it up a little bit because you can, because you have the ability to. I want you to use quarters. And then after you do that, buy yourself with something with the change that you moved over. Now I know 10 quarters is not a lot in these days, but it will buy you a cup of coffee. But something even more important that it will buy you, it will buy you that level of self-confidence that positivity, that story you need to tell yourself to become more successful than you ever thought possible. Stories are powerful things. They're how history was passed down for years. So think about it. What story are you telling about yourself? More importantly, what story are you telling to yourself? Hey, look, thanks for taking the time. I always appreciate the fact that you tune in and listen, and I never take it for granted. Remember, be purposeful, act with integrity, and continue to build your character. You have a great week.